When Xiaoyan walked into his doctor's waiting room, he was a desperate man. The 22-year-old was suffering from a badly deformed nose after being injured in a car accident last August. The whole lower part is gone. The tip of the nose, the nasal septa, the columella, all gone. It is very difficult. But when he failed to seek proper medical treatment, Lian's nose became infected and his nostrils virtually fell away. The corrosion was so bad, doctors told him they were unable to use traditional surgery to repair it. So they came up with what only can be described as a crazy idea. They would grow a new one on Lian's forehead. The traditional approach is to rebuild the nasal septum over the damaged one. It is actually cartilage which has to be supported by tissue flaps on both sides. In his case, the damaged part is so big that this approach is impossible. So we came up with the idea of nose prefabrication, to make a new nose elsewhere and then transplant it to replace the original. Despite understandable reservations, Lian consented to Guo Jihui and his medical team at the city's Union Hospital carrying out the procedure. Now, one year on, the nose is growing well. We first placed a skin tissue expander beneath the skin on his forehead. This was cut into the shape of a nose and was supported by cartilage taken from the man's ribs. Then we will transplant it to replace the original one. In order to make the skin for the new nose on Lian's forehead grow, surgeons injected it with saline. Cartilage taken from the man's ribs was sculptured into columella and kept alive with a blood supply. Three months later, the cartilage survived. It is very difficult to support the cartilage and colleagues kept asking online how the columella was created and kept alive. Actually, we also adopted a traditional method, that is, feeding it with soft tissue and adding some skin. So it looks very much like a real nose. Next, surgeons carve the nostrils, making them larger to limit any respiratory problems Lian may face. It's not the first time surgeons have grown appendages on other parts of the body. Last year, a British businessman who lost his nose to cancer had a new nose grown on his arm. Despite its current location, doctors say Lian's second nose is very much the same as the one on your or I's own face. Very lucky Lian will even have a sense of smell. Regarding the sense of smell, once it is damaged, it cannot be restored because advanced cells, such as nerves, are very difficult to create. For this patient, he has still retained some of his sense of smell in the undamaged inner part of his nose. After the transplant, Lian will still have to undergo further procedures with surgeons due to carry out microcarving to make the man-made nose as natural looking as possible. Dr. Guo says despite his added appendage, Lian is becoming more confident each day. We can see the changes happening to him, both physically and mentally. He has become more happy as his hope has increased. In the beginning, it was like groping in the dark, but gradually the dawn has arrived.